Edward Muybridge was one of the most remarkable men of his age. Eccentric, even by English standards, Muybridge made extraordinary contributions to photography. He also invented a washing machine and was tried for murder. Muybridge immigrated to America from England in 1851 and studied photography under Carlton Watkins, the famous landscape photographer. Then he moved west and began his own remarkable career. He documented early city life in Sacramento and San Francisco and covered the Modoc Indian War. But it was landscape photography that made Muybridge famous. He was one of the first men to take a camera into Yosemite. Muybridge was soon rubbing shoulders with the California elite, and in 1872 he married the beautiful Flora Shellcross Stone. Flora was only 21, Muybridge was 42. That same year he received the commission that would lead to his most lasting fame. Former Governor Leland Stanford had a bet over whether a racehorse at full gallop ever has all four feet off the ground at the same time. Stanford commissioned Moybridge to make photographic studies of running horses. Unfortunately, the photographic process of the day required long exposures. Stanford funded Moybridge's research for the next 10 years as he experimented with faster exposures. Eventually, Moybridge developed a practical technique. The horse was galloped past a series of cameras. As the horse passed each camera, it broke a string, releasing the shutter. A white background with a painted grid allowed the viewer to study the details of the horse's motion. In 1874, Moybridge's work was forcibly interrupted. Away for long periods in Yosemite, he became convinced that his young wife was having an affair. When he found a letter to his wife, Moybridge rode out to the man's ranch house, knocked on the door, politely introduced himself, and shot him dead. Concerned for his own reputation, Stanford hired California's best criminal defense lawyer, who argued that Moybridge had become mentally unstable after being injured in a stagecoach accident. The jury fought it, and Moybridge was acquitted. Moybridge was free, but unwelcome in polite society. To avoid further trouble in California, he took his cameras to Central America. In 1878, Moybridge returned to the United States and began distributing albums of his work. When people first saw the images, they were astonished. Many regarded them as a hoax until Moybridge invented the zoopraxiscope to show the images in rapid succession. Both Moybridge and Stanford traveled widely and lectured on the amazing images, but the two men began to quarrel over who deserved primary credit for the work. In 1882, Moybridge was shocked to discover that Stanford planned to publish his photographs. Moybridge was mentioned only as a hired technician. Moybridge sued Stanford, but lost the court battle and his sponsor. Moybridge was able to continue his work at the University of Pennsylvania. From 1884, in 1887, he photographed and published an amazing assortment of human and animal subjects. New photochemistry allowed faster exposures and better detail, and Moybridge developed more sophisticated controls for his cameras. The old man stirred controversy once more over the use of nude male and female models. Moybridge was a pioneer in landscape photography, the environmental movement, scientific photography, and motion pictures. Moybridge is the man who made pictures move. <laughs>